what's beyond it has always fascinated humanity. From ancient times, we have been trying to decipher the mysteries of outer space. Every major culture of the ancient world had its own myths and legends about space. With the coming of modern science, many of these mysteries have been solved. Yet, we have miles to go. Meet Anamika, a young girl from the rural hinterlands of India. She has a dream. One day she wants to reach out to the sky and beyond. Yes, she wants to become an astronaut and reach outer space. She wants to follow in the footsteps of her icon, Kalpana Chavla. Kalpana Chavla, India's first woman in space, was from her village in Haryana. If she can, why can't I? thinks Anamika. Indian space research has always been guided by the spirit of taking human civilization forward. Not for a sense of competition, neither a sense of pride. Space, besides everything else, is a developmental tool for us. A research dedicated to a better life and livelihood of human beings on Earth. India has got a very vibrant space program. Over the last four decades, we have achieved self-reliance in uh, developing these technologies. We have uh, our own capability to build the satellites, launch them with the rocket systems, what we have, and provide application programs based on the space technology. Although the seeds were sown much earlier, the real impetus of Indian space research started in 1972. To start with, the Government of India set up the Space Commission and then the Department of Space. With time, the department spread its wings far and wide and started serving the nation through its organizations located across India. ISRO concentrates on three key areas and these are the areas that lead to the growth of the nation. Year on year, the Indian economy is growing at the rate of almost 10% and fast reaching a double-digit growth. Space research built the edifice on which the economy is standing today. What are the factors that lead to its growth? People need to communicate, learn and connect to the world. Space research ensures that. A biosphere needs to understand itself well, know its topography and climate to maximize its potential. All this can be done effectively from space. I think we do need to invest in the future, just as we have done in Antarctica up till now. Uh, and the reason being that uh, uh, the future uh, for mankind does lie in space. Our uh, resources on Earth are limited. Um, and therefore, we must exploit all that is available, augment, supplement our resources which are uh, finite and which are being used at an alarming rate. Today we have a nation of billion people to connect. We have a mission to fulfill, to use space technology to ensure a better life for the generations to come. Today when Anamika looks at the moon, it's no more just a fairy tale land for her. It's a truth. A series of unanswered questions. And she knows that she will find answers to at least some of them someday. The sky is not the limit for us. 
not anymore.